Glad to have you join us again on the newsroom. I'm Simi Solajiko. The National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS, on Friday has ordered students to occupy the streets of Abuja with their cooking pots, mattresses and other personal effects to protest the strike and backed upon by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU. NANS President Sunday Ashefon made this known in a letter to the zonal coordinators of the union. The union led by Professor Emmanuel Osodeke made, it, made the decision to extend the strike so as to give the federal government and its agencies enough time to meet the lingering demand of the union. A federal high court sitting in Umuahia, Abia State is set to hear the fundamental rights enforcement suit filed by the detained leader of the indigenous people of the IFR, IPOB, Namdi Kano. The IPOB leader in the suit is seeking four declarations and orders of the court respectively over his arrest in Kenya and extradition back to the country. Kano also sought an order of injunction restraining and prohibiting the federal government from taking any further step in any criminal prosecution against him. Godwin God Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State has inaugurated the seven-member Edo State Independent Electoral Commission, ETSIEC, to conduct elections into local government councils across the state. The governor, during the swearing-in ceremony in Benin City on Thursday, charged the commission to be neutral in the conduct of the council polls and ensure that the electoral process is free, fair and transparent. Tanzania has received the first batch of 1 million doses of Sinovac COVID-19 vaccines donated by the government of Turkey, which will be administered to 500,000 citizens. According to the nation's Minister for Health, the 4 million double shot vaccines will arrive in four phases and will inoculate 2 million people above the age of 18 years. The batch is part of the 4 million doses expected to arrive in the country from Turkey. Minister of Aviation Hadi Sirika has said that the current administration has laid the groundwork for the growth of the local aviation with the potential to earn $14.16 billion in revenue and contribute 5% of the gross domestic profit product GDP yearly. Sirika, at the inauguration of the Muritala Mohammed International Airport Terminal 2 in Lagos, says a series of interventions carried out in the last seven years in the area of policy and infrastructure had repositioned local aviation. He noted that when the present administration came into power in 2015, the aviation industry experienced major challenges which are being reduced to the barest minimum. Ethiopia's government on Thursday declared an indefinite humanitarian truce effective immediately, saying it hoped to help hasten the delivery of emergency aid into the Tigray region where hundreds of thousands faced starvation. The government added that it is committed to exert maximum efforts to facilitate the free flow of emergency humanitarian aid into the Tigray region. According to the UN, to the UN rather nearly 40% of the people in Tigray, a region of 6 million people, face an extreme lack of food. Italy will miss their second World Cup in a row after slumping into a shock 1-0 playoff semi-final defeat to North Macedonia on Thursday. Alexander Tchaikovsky's low drive in the second minute of stoppage time stunned the European champions in Palermo and set up a qualifying final with Portugal in Porto on Tuesday. That's the latest on the newsroom. Join us in the next hour for more stories.